Hi, I'm Steve Rowe, CEO at Oak Knoll, and I'm recording this video the afternoon of Wednesday, May 22nd. Uh, it will be uploaded and available to you by Thursday, May 23rd. Uh, similar to last week's message uh, from Kim Bergen Jackson, our COVID update is very, very brief. We are not aware of any residents or staff members who uh, are COVID positive, so hope to keep it that way. Uh, in Kim's message last week, we had just come off of receiving uh, approval for the Certificate of Need application that we had, had submitted back probably in January. Um, and we are just absolutely so relieved and excited about moving forward with that project as conceived. Uh, it's something that it's like we didn't want to think about what would happen uh, if, uh, if we didn't get approval, but we had been thinking about it and worrying about it uh, for probably five or six months now. So, uh, so it was very nice uh, welcome relief to finally have cleared that hurdle and have the certificate of need application for 12 additional beds get approved. Uh, we are working hard with the architect to go from the schematic or conceptual design of that building to actual getting, uh, con getting to the level of construction drawing so that the general contractor and the subcontractors know what the building is actually supposed to look like and what they are to build. Um, so that is a, a process that generally takes a few months. Uh, we're trying to do it very quickly and, um, and kind of do some other things along the way. Uh, you will start to see activity at that, uh, at that site uh, as early as next week. Um, the first step is there is some asbestos in the building that needs to be removed. Uh, there are three small areas that contained asbestos. So up in the kitchen, uh, there uh, was popcorn ceiling in the kitchen, about 250 square feet that, that is asbestos based, needs to be removed safely. Uh, there was some tile and I forget what the third area was, but there is a company that specializes in asbestos abatement. They will come in, do their thing, remove the asbestos safely, and then almost immediately following that, there will be demolition and site preparation for that, uh, for the new building. Uh, so the current uh, house is a 70-year-old structure. It just really could not be renovated in a way that would be usable for us. So the building will come down uh, and then they'll uh, need to remove some trees. We're trying to save as many trees as possible and the, the ones around the perimeter of the property for sure we will be able to save. There is at least one very nice tree that is almost right next to the driveway that there's just no way that it can possibly be saved uh, but you'll start to see some of that type of site preparation work happening over the next couple of weeks. I believe that by mid-June uh, everything will be uh, ready for new construction on that site. Site. So, so you'll start to see some things change here very quickly. Uh, construction of the new building should start by late summer or early fall with the intention of being uh, sealed up uh, and being able to work through the winter for uh, finishes within the building itself. Uh, so by, by starting early, they can work through the winter and ideally by this time next year, we have uh, 12 new nursing beds that we can, can put into operation. So, uh, so that's what we're shooting for and just wanna keep that process moving as, as much as possible. Uh, the health center does continue to be full. Uh, we continue to provide exceptional end-of-life care for lots of people who are hospice uh, patients at this point. Um, and, and we are just being creative in terms of figuring out it's like how to care for the next person who needs it. Uh, sometimes that means home care in their apartment. Sometimes it means uh, home care or, or supplemental services uh, from, um, from in a guest room or, or a space close to the health center. Uh, just kind of case by case basis, figuring out what we have available, how we're going to provide care to that next person who needs it. And uh, eventually we know that that relief is coming. Uh, but in the meantime, we just will continue to do our best to provide care as it is needed. Um, this past Sunday, I traveled to Chicago with Bruce and Juan and Taylor uh, to the National Restaurant Show. 
uh, Bruce and his team have been going to this uh, to this show um, probably every year or close to every year for the last few years now. And I had always been intrigued by it. And this year I had just spent the time going with them. So we left early Sunday morning, came back on Tuesday, and it is the biggest trade show that I've ever seen. It was just absolutely enormous. Uh, the McCormick Center in Chicago is a huge expo uh, center and all three of their big uh, exhibition halls were just absolutely full of vendors from all over the world. Uh, there were people, uh, food and beverage, that food and beverage vendors, uh, equipment vendors, so uh, all kinds of, every different type of oven that you can imagine, pizza ovens and combi ovens, and it's like all kinds of different things that it's like it was a totally different language uh, that I learned. Uh, silverware and flatware and it's like uh, glassware and it's like all kinds of different things that that go into you know all the decisions that are made as you're as you're running a restaurant or a food service operation um, I have absolutely new respect and it's like I'd always thought that Bruce and Juan and Taylor did a, a good job and really knew their stuff but now it's like hearing them talk about different options I, I have a new respect for them and it's like all of the things that go into a decision on it's like, hey, we're gonna buy this particular fork, or it's like, uh, or this particular food product. Uh, they uh, really know their stuff, and it was just really fun to overhear their conversations as they're thinking about different options. I learned as a result of going that we lose a lot of silverware every month, and the particular silverware pattern that we have been using for many years is discontinued. Uh, so we have to do something, and it's like they've got a plan in place for what they're going to do uh, and we were looking at, at different silverware options and it's like feeling forks and it's like oh this one's too light or too heavy or it's like all these different things so it was just a really good experience and and something that I, I truly enjoyed uh, seeing their expertise in in action um, I think that's everything I have for you today uh, I may record next week because the following week I am going to be on vacation. Uh, Kim and I haven't talked about it yet, but you will either get Kim for two weeks in a row or me for two weeks in a row. So I'll see you either next week or in three weeks. Hope you're all doing well and take care.